there's been some interest in the five string violin five string fiddle that I played recently in one of those sort of short videos so I thought I would just take the opportunity to talk about this particular one which was an eBay purchase six or seven months ago and it's a five string of course and I put um, Pirastro tonica strings on this thing and I bought a C string for a viola so that's how I got the five string set together it's not too bad a tone <laughs> currently playing it through a Roland Street amp so that hasn't got a lot of bottom end really but it's not doing too badly and a small amount of reverb because sometimes these electric fiddles do need some reverb just to get remove some of the harshness of the signal this um, instrument's got a sort of built-in um, amplifier preamp I should say on the back which has got a very simple tone control and a volume control. Um, it's not particularly good electronics because when you crank the um, tone control right down to to completely um, remove some of the harsher top frequencies there's a small amount of hum that creeps into the thing so you have to kind of um, just bring it back a little bit to to get rid of that hum it's it sounds like a 50 hertz hum but i'm not sure i've tried to um to isolate it by putting silver foil in there but it doesn't seem to work i've also tried to improve the circuitry but it, that hasn't really worked either so it's basically just a generic cheap little preamp in there which i may actually dispose of in the end and just go straight um direct by um just bypassing the whole thing but anyway, at the moment, it doesn't sound too bad. tricky thing about five strings is that the bridge is um, really only designed for a four string on the these cheaper ones anyway and it's not purpose built so consequently the strings are quite close together so you have to play the thing for quite a few hours to make sure that you don't um, end up playing two notes accidentally <laughs> a little bit of practice getting used to that and that's one thing to remember about five strings they are a different beast in my opinion when you pick up a four string it feels very comfortable pick up a five string you have to rethink your brain retrain your brain to sort of uh, get used to playing this thing and that's basically just playing hours you just need to play it for quite some time um, other things about a five string well um, it's got a beautiful tone. This one's not too bad actually, despite the, the preamp being pretty cheaply produced, mass produced, um, there isn't any noticeable distortion. <laughs> Often on these um, low cost electric fiddles, when you play a double stop, two notes together, sometimes distortion creeps in that's because the piezo signal sends out such a high um, it's, it's not a very high voltage but it in comparative terms for, for a, pre, a cheaper preamp sometimes the the higher voltage can peak a little bit 
and you can get a little bit of distortion creeping in on the top end on the higher frequencies but this one doesn't seem too bad <laughs> playing this through the Roland amps so it's a pretty good amp Roland equipment seems to be very well built and well designed and although it's only a second-hand amplifier I bought some years ago it certainly does the trick and it's ideal for performing outside if you wish to do so to a small audience perhaps but anyway that's this particular five string fiddle which I always liked because it's got such an exciting shape um, one of um, my um, subscribers, a, a, a nice guy who's a musician as well, name, named it the Bat Fiddle. And that kind of stuck with me. I thought, what a great name for a, for a violin. And I call this the Bat Fiddle now because, of course, it does look a little bit like something Batman might play. <clears throat> but anyway... <laughs> Yeah, and um, this this violin actually came with this particular bow, which is once again a low cost kind of bow, um, uh, some sort of mahogany. It's quite chunky, but it works all right. <laughs> pleasure from this um, particular violin it's one of those instruments that you can just pick up and jam away which is exactly what I've been doing for the last 10 15 whatever 20 minutes maybe on this video but I hope it gives you some insight into um, an electric five string fiddle don't forget I did a whole series on electric violins um, I think I posted around about 10 videos, so I, I'll try and find the playlist link and put a, a link underneath this video in the description. But um, I just thought I would quickly make this video today because there, there was some interest in um, the short video that I recently posted where I was playing this particular violin. And I thought, well, I'll at least give you some more information to go on. Um, this was um, $150, something like that. UK it was about £120, but I paid import duty a little bit on extra on top. But it was well worth it because it's beautifully made, no doubt about that. Okay, well, thank you for watching. If you found this interesting, let me know and I'll post a few more videos talking about the various electric violins that I have and um, have a great fiddle weekend take care and see you again soon bye bye now <laughs>